Hi everybody, Lulu here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making pickled red onions. You will love this recipe. Put it on your burgers, put it on your sandwich, or just eat them right out of the jar. So let's talk about ingredients. You are going to need some water, approximately two cups, two cups of distilled white vinegar, some salt, granulated sugar, about a third of a cup, peppercorns, and two red onions. I've got my uh, two red onions that have been uh, peeled and then I have my mandolin out. I'm gonna take this now with a little bit of glove protection and I just want to slice my onions really evenly so that they come out really nice. Okay, my onions have already been sliced. Look at how nice and thin they are. And now I'm gonna take all of this liquid to make for my pickling liquid on the stove to then pour over these delicious red onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my water, all of my white vinegar, and then I'm going to whisk in my sugar and my salt over medium heat until it comes to a boil. So while my pickling liquid is getting ready to boil on the stove and get warm and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my ball jars with the red onions so that when that is ready and cooled, I can actually pour it over and this will be ready to go. I'm also gonna go ahead and put my peppercorns in, just a few, few on top. My pickling liquid is almost done. See how it's come just to a boil here in the bottom of the pan? This is when you wanna take it off the heat, let it cool, and then pour over your red onion. Okay, my pickling liquid is cooled. I'm gonna go ahead now and pour it into a large measuring cup so that it's easier for me to pour into the jars. It's time to fill up our jars. I'm gonna pour the rest of this in and then we're gonna put these in the fridge overnight, but they might be ready in as little as an hour. My pickling liquid has been poured over the red onion and you will know these are done because they'll turn this beautiful pink color, pink red color. Could take anywhere between an hour or maybe overnight in the fridge, but you'll know. Look for the bright pink color. Okay, so it's been a few days. These are done. These are so done and they are ready to be eaten on a sandwich. Crunchy, delicious. For more recipes like this, log on to my blog at lulusjubilee.com where life is best celebrated.